Hi guys, Sarah here. Obviously, not at the salon, I'm at home. Um, I know a lot of you are gonna have questions about how you're going to remove your shellac nail polish, um, acrylics, your hard gels, all that stuff. I want to help you out. I know a month of not being able to come to the salon and have me help you out there is going to be cumbersome with your nails, especially when you're not trained on how to do them properly. So I'm gonna help you out. I'm going to give um, some short little snippets of videos of how to's and hopefully that will do the trick until you're able to come see me again. Okay, so today is going to be just on removing shellac. Most of you just have shellac, so that's what we're gonna focus on for right now. Another day we'll do the acrylics, the, another day we'll do hard gel, you guys get the points. All right, um, yeah, so here we go. So as you see here, this is my desk at home. I've got all my goodies, stuff I can keep practicing on and everything. Um, my wonderful son, who has so verily um, volunteered, not so much, kind of coerced and forced into, um, promised ice cream in order to do shellac on his finger, but hey, girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. And then we have Emma, my wonderful <laughs> camera lady, who is going to help me out. Um, both of you heard many stories of Emma and Alex. Here they are in the live. So this is what we're gonna have for today. You will need a file. You will need aluminum foil, cotton ball, acetone, um, a orange wood stick, also known as a pusher, to help take off the shellac polish. Uh, if you happen to have one of these lovely beauties at home, it's just a metal pusher. It's much better than the orange wood stick, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? So let me show you our wonderful nail here. Look what we did. We did a blue shellac. He picked out the color and then I did some uh, starfish tie-dye. So we made it festive and fun. We figured, why not? Um, yeah, so we're going to start. Come on this side. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do first is you're gonna have the nail. You need your file. And you have to break the seal because you've got the top coat on there, which is holding everything in. I know it's it's very hard to ruin this beautiful masterpiece, but hey, Alex does not want blue nail polish for the rest of his life, unfortunately. So we're just gonna take our file and we are going to file very lightly over the surface. You can see that not a whole lot is coming off. It's mainly more of a, a dusting, right? But it's enough to break the seal, meaning um, it will allow the acetone to get into the nail polish. So that's what we're doing. Doesn't require a whole lot of buffing. So we've got that. So then we take our acetone and you can get acetone pretty much anywhere. You get it at Walgreens, uh, Sally Beauty, um, Target. I'm not sure if Walmart has it, but Walmart's pretty much got everything, so why not? So then we soak our cotton ball in the acetone. We wanna make sure that's thoroughly wet. You don't want a dry cotton ball. See, and as you see, we just um, dotted some of the acetone on top and the whole design is still there. It needs to sit on the finger. And we're gonna take the aluminum foil. We're gonna wrap it up just like a diaper. And that's what we're gonna do with that. So then you just leave your fingers and you have to leave them flat. 
They need to sit and soak in the acetone, depending on how fast you have it is, um, or how, yeah, depending on um, how level your fingers are is the best amount of levelation for the acetone with the fingers. Um, if you have a heating rice pad at home, heat that up, right? Because then you can put that on top of the finger and you can help the acetone warm up, which helps take the shellac off the finger faster. I will be right back. And I grab that rice pack. So I warmed up the rice pad for about a minute and a half. And it's nothing too fancy. And we're gonna put it on the finger. And now my wonderful Alex is just going to sit and he's going to chillax for probably about five minutes with that on. So while you're sitting there, you're working it, you may as well enjoy some tea from your wonderful Aveda store. We're still open for selling products. Um, yeah, so we will pause this video and get back to you in a few minutes. Well, welcome back guys. So it's been about five minutes. We're taking our rice pad off the finger. So how did that feel, that rice pad? I, I felt, I don't know. Felt warm? Uh, yeah, I felt warm. Felt fine? Yeah. Did it hurt at all? No. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're just going to unwrap. There's probably going to be some excessive liquid from the acetone, but that's completely fine. Just put a towel underneath. It's no problem. All right, so... We've got the nail, we've got the uh, acetone, and let's see where we are with this. We're just gonna push it, oh yeah. Look at, oh, that came off real nice. Real nice. So you see that all that came off real nice. That heat definitely helps accelerate the acetone. So we've got all of it off, which worked out pretty well. So I'm just going to wipe it. Make sure it's nice and clean. Buff it a little bit. Really, he's got some leftover cuticle on here. When's the last time you had a Manny? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so his finger is just about good as new. Yes, there's still a little um, shellac, the end of his finger that will come off within probably the next shower. That's really no big deal. So that looks great. Everything came off. I'll go ahead and put it in the garbage. Oh, give me that finger back. So his finger's probably gonna be a little dry because it's naked. If you do have um, cuticle oil at home, go ahead and use it because now is the perfect time for that because you have a naked finger and it's more easier to absorb any ingredients into your finger. Just wipe a little bit on top, spread it around. There's your wonderful, shiny, non-blue finger again. And that is pretty much it on how you take off shellac. So it's, it's fairly simple as long as you have all the ingredients you know, there's really no big to do on it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to um, put any of them in the comments parts of the video and I will answer anything that I can for you. Otherwise, I want you guys to have a great rest of your week. Um, little funny, kind of ironic thing 
I know some of you heard that I've been reading some books, catching up, um, doing one of my other pleasure books, and then, uh, well, I'll say pleasure books, let's, uh, books fun for reading, okay, don't get overexcited over there, but um, one of my other self-help books, I looked at the title and I thought it was kind of humorous for our situation, situation. so I just wanted to share that with you, and Contagious. That is the self-help book I'm reading. All right. I'm going to leave you guys with that. Have a great rest of your week. Talk to you later.